Silly Millie. Good girl. Keep going. <laughs> Having a wee wee. Okay. She did kill me as well. <laughs> Got her bag. Yeah, that's on my shoulder. Right. So, we're off to my parents for um, dinner. We're getting a takeout of some description, probably Chinese food, I'm not sure. But um, I haven't seen my mum or my grandparents actually since we argued a few weeks back. I've been talking to my mum for a few days on Facebook. My dad's away in Spain, so my grandparents came down today to keep her company and um, my dad's on a business trip in Spain. So mum asked if me and hubby wanted to go over and we got a takeaway. So that is what we are doing. I'm no car expert, I'm no mechanic, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that isn't right. It is smoking. We are having issues with that oil. Well, it's... I've literally just put them in just now for going back. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's runoff that's overheating or what. So <laughs> there is no oil left in the car. So we're having to call. We're actually in a bus stop, and that's annoying. But that was the only place we could. Uh, pull it over and the annoying thing is this is exactly where our uh, another of our cars died our starter motor fell out on this road and we had to pull over um, in a church <laughs> uh, literally on the other side of the road just down a little bit so updates we I just had a <laughs> an argument basically with our recovery company my husband was asked how many of us there were and he said there's me there's my wife and my little dog and he went on to say the guy that he was talking to went on to say oh yeah we can't take the dog um you'll have to leave her in the car oh no fucking way so She's right here, like, she's so cute. Um, so I just took the phone off, off him and I said, just put me th straight through to the manager, please. So the manager came on and he was like, um, started to tell me about his policy and I was like, look, let me tell you what is gonna happen. Um, basically, I don't give a toss about your <laughs> she's crying about your policy we pay every single month for this service and we I'm telling you right now that there is no way that I'm leaving my dog in the car um, so I said that it's completely up to you if you want to lose to, uh, lose a customer right now then that's fine we will cancel our policy Otherwise, send a recovery man and let me tell you for a fact that my dog will be in that recovery van with me. Um, he was like, he kept trying to say, oh, it's policy, policy. I was like, I don't give a toss about your policy. Um, and he said, well, it will be down to the recovery, <clears throat> the recovery van company. I was like, well, how are we going to, how are you going to find out, um, whether this is a, an issue or not and he started to say something i was like no listen to me how are you going to find out if there is this if this is an issue or not and he said well um i suppose i can call them for you i was like you do that but then um 
we are waiting for a mechanic because he couldn't get a recovery guy out to us. Oh, hey, hey. So she's literally trying to get in my bag. Hmm. You've got your own bag, Missy. Yeah, it's always more fun to be in other people's bags. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Why don't you just say this? If it was going to be two hours, why didn't you just say it was going to be two hours? Instead mm. of saying, I don't know. Well, we have been waiting an hour so far for the mechanic, and we are possibly having to wait another hour. It took them an hour to get to actually give us a call to let us know that. <laughs> They were very busy. We're on the home stretch now, though. Just an hour to go. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe a bit less, you said. Fingers crossed. So we have been waiting for three hours. It's ridiculous. I'm having a hypo. I've got a migraine, and it is freezing cold. <sighs> So fucked off. We have been waiting for three hours. This is ridiculous. And just seriously let him tell me that my dog is not getting in that van because I am so ready for it. Finally, they've showed up. Hopefully, he can kind of patch us up by the roadside and we'll be able to drive home and take it to a garage tomorrow at some point if not then he's gonna have to tow us basically to um to a garage so i've got such a migraine and i'm in really bad mood because my blood sugar is low and I just, I just want to go home. Well, actually, I want to go to my mum's, like, planned, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm so tired because of my blood sugar is low. But my eyes just are fighting me. <sighs> God, I am so, so tired. I didn't finish last night's vlog because um, I ran out of space but also dropped the car off at the garage. We're at the garage now um, and they're gonna look at the car for us probably on Monday so we're just waiting for a taxi to pick us up to take us home and last night we paid the guy an extra, or we paid the guy to to take us home and he dropped us off at the bottom of two <laughs> steep hills and I was already in the hype in the middle of a hypo um so I just got a text from the taxi company saying that it's arrived it hasn't no um yeah, so 
by the time I walked up those two hills, I was practically dead because I was in the middle of a hypo. And quite frankly, I'm not the fittest person in the world. Far from it. Um, and I literally had a hypo <laughs> right at the top. And I I had to sit down because I was, I was going to pass out. And... Um, Okay, so we are home and yeah, I didn't finish what I was going to say. Um, basically, last night I had I had a hypo and I was in the middle of the street. Um, <clears throat> Hubby um, had to like run back to the house. Luckily, it was only like five minutes. Well, not even that. Um, he had to run back to the house to get me a drink. And this really lovely girl called Emma, um, she found me sitting in the street and she rolled down a car window and she was like, are you alright love? And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was, I kept thinking, oh god, she's going to think that I'm drunk. Because it was a Friday night and it was late and I was acting drunk because obviously like low blood sugar. So I managed to say I'm diabetic. Um, so she was... Um, and I said I was waiting for my husband to like come back for me and um, so she was like do you want to wait in the car and I was like yeah okay but once I was up I was like okay I'm just going to keep on walking because if I sit back down again I don't know if I'm going to get back up and by this she said oh I'll pull over and I'll I'll walk you up I was like oh thank you so much and by this time Happy had come down and gotten me anyway so we came back um we ordered chinese and i went straight to bed and my head is pounding today so the car is gonna get looked at on monday um the mechanic said that it's probably either an oil switch yeah has i don't know malfunctioned broken whatever or there's a hole in the gas sump pump just sump pump. Oil, oil, sorry. Oil sump pump. If it's the switch, it'll be around... Probably less than 50 quid. Probably sorry. less than 50 quid. If it's the other thing, where there's a hole in the sump pump... It'd probably 250, 300 quid. Yeah, what he said. But I'm going to have to work a hell of a lot this week. We're covered for either way, thankfully. Oh, uh, yeah, but... I've got those prices on the internet, so mm. I don't even know if that's going to be the same for the, the model of car. Because mm. you don't know what they need to do to get to um, get it fixed. Mm. So hopefully those numbers are accurate. But a sump pump, a new sump pump, is usually in the region of 100 quid, 120 maybe. Okay. And then it's obviously the labour to get it in. Can you... In the meantime, hope the engine isn't fucked. Oh god, he's so pessimistic. <laughs> I the other day, he was like, "Oh, can you imagine if I can't even remember what the scenario was?" But can you imagine if what was it? I don't know, but you do a tool for sure. You. I was worried about something that didn't even happen. Yeah, and um. Something about, I think it was something to do with a ticket. Can you imagine if I had gotten, like, oh, yeah, a parking cause, ticket? Because we went to um, Tanby last weekend, and I had to stop and put up Abraham. On That's right, yeah. And because I got collectors, I can, I can poo at a moment's notice. <laughs> we didn't need to say that. And, um, basically... <laughs> I, so, anyway, the short story is... He went through this whole scenario of, it went from, can you imagine if I got a ticket for point four parking in Pont, a Pont Abraham? Um, and I was like, oh, well, you know, whatever, you won't, and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, no, I'll tell him fuck off. I'll tell him this, I'll tell him that. I am fucking, I've got a disability. And I'm like, dude, hasn't even happened. He was going on, no, this is what I'll tell them. And I was like, dude. Anyway, I am going to get some headache medicine into me um, then I'm going to go and work my ass off this week.